Okay, this video is showing you the first project. So again, be sure you read the information before you start the project on what you should have already done so you know um, that you have prepared for it, that you um, get three opportunities to upload this project and get it graded so that you can improve your grade before the grade actually goes in the grade book and how it's graded there and then also the objectives that it will cover. So click on load the word module one Okay, and I'm on <clears throat> project one, so I click start. Okay, the first thing you want to do is download instructions. And you may want to print these. That's up to you. If you're, want, if you're only using one screen and don't want to split your screen, then you're probably going to want to print these. And it's only usually a few pages. So open. Okay, and here's what it opened, and I'm going to enable the editing, and I'm going to maximize, <clears throat> and I want to view one page at a time. Okay, so it tells you pretty much exactly what you should do here. Open the file, save it, and it also shows you on the screen. And then here are your project steps for this particular project all the way through uh, 14. Okay, I'm gonna move this document onto my other screen. So, you know, I mentioned earlier that you may wanna buy two, an, an extra screen uh, for your laptop. It's not real expensive if you can find a used one. I have done that in the past where I've paid as little as $15 for a used screen. Okay, so the start file, that's step number two. I open it. And again, like I said, you may want to print the instructions. That's absolutely up to you. And this is the file that I'm going to be working with. Okay, so the first thing it tells me, I'm looking at my instructions and in project steps one, you're helping to publicize a farm stand that sells organic herbs by creating a flyer for the business. Begin by changing only the top and bottom margins of the document to 0.5. Okay, now before I do that, I do need to save this. So I'm going to file, save as, and I'm just going to save mine on my desktop. I highly um, encourage you create, in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and do that just so you can see, create a new folder just so you can find it. And you're probably going to want a folder that says uh, word processing or the number of the course, however you want to do that. <clears throat> and then another new folder that says maybe uh, CH1 and put all your chapter one in here. Now the instructions tell you to change this name to two. Be very careful that you upload the correct file name. It imprints your name in the background, so I know that it's definitely been done by you um, on your computer, and, if, and all you do is change it to a two and save it. By saving it in folders, you've organized yourself so you can find it easy to upload. Okay, it says begin by changing only the top and bottom margins of the document to 0.5. So I'm going to go to layout. It'll let me go there. Margins. And I'm going to do a custom margin. And it's just top and bottom to 0.5 and click OK. Okay, and then I'm going to apply the fill green accent one shadow text effect to the heading for Banya farm stand. 
be sure you select the right amount. And I'm doing a fill green accent one shadow. So I go back to the home tab. And I'm doing a text effect. So this is my text effect icon. So I click here. And it says that it doesn't tell me where it is, so I'm going to have to hover over. Fill green, accent one, shadow. That's it. It's the second one. Format the paragraph beginning Verbania Farm Grows Herbs as follows. Remove the space after the paragraph. So I'm going to select the paragraph. When you're changing paragraph settings, you don't necessarily have to change to select it. If you click inside of it, it'll do that. Most of the changes, but it's some of them it won't, so it's best just to select it. And I'm going to remove that space after the paragraph. You should get very used to and very comfortable using this paragraph dialog box because you'll use it quite a bit. Change the line spacing to 1.15, which is multiple, and it's um, a popular one for Word starting in the last version. 1.15 and click OK. In the same paragraph, delete the sentence, we are open all year through stock, though stock varies according to season. A good way to find sentences like that so you're not frantically looking for them um, is pick out a few words in it or type a few words in it. We are open and find, just control F to find it. And there it is, that's the one that needs to be deleted. Just finds it real easy for you. Control F opens up the navigation over here so you can find what you're looking for. Apply the soft edge rectangle picture style to the photo of herbs to integrate it into the flyer. Okay, so we're clicking here, and because I'm clicked on the picture, I have the formatting tools, so I'm going to click on it, and it says apply the soft edge rectangle picture style. There it is. Okay. Okay, so I've skipped ahead and completed the document so as not to take up too much video time. You know how to do these skills if you've done the training in the exam. Be sure on the instructions you always check the final figure. It does give you a final figure of what it should look like. And then once you have done that, you can save. And I'm just going to use the save on the menu since that's in my way. And I'm going to close the document. And I now can upload the file. And submit. It tells you if you've uploaded it correctly and that the assignment has been submitted. It also tells you that it may take a few minutes to see your score. One last thing before I end this video. Over on the right side, you can click on progress. Now, I can't do it because I'm not a student. But you can click on progress and see uh, your report and see the progress that you have made. You also have the ability to look in SAM and see the progress that you have made. So um, there are several different ways to check and see how you are doing. Review that report from the project you just uploaded 
make any corrections based on what you saw on the report, and then resubmit it. You've got another opportunity after that one to do it as well. Be sure to take advantage of those opportunities. One of the things students tell me at the end of the semester is they wish they had taken advantage of those opportunities to improve their grade. Other assignments will come from the textbook and will not give you quite as much help. Some of them will be create assignments where you're creating something and you're having to do uh, a little higher level thinking. End of this video.